New trip on the Missouri River almost turned tragic this afternoon. A father and daughter left stranded, holding on to flood debris and waiting for rescue. Andres Gutierrez spoke to the rescue crew who saved the girl. Jenna, both father and daughter survived. Now other people who use the river say there's a lesson to be learned from today's incident. Only a pile of logs below the Bond Bridge kept this young woman above the Missouri River Saturday afternoon. She was very lucky to have gotten on top of the strain. Ordinarily, the hydraulics of the water will pull you under it. She was alone for nearly an hour until someone walking through Riverfront Park saw her and called 911. Kansas City firefighters Nathan Spence, Jimmy Bonacorso, and Vince Trombino were on the water within minutes of receiving the call. Spence and his team rescued the woman. Her father had floated up the river after the canoe tipped over. And as we were coming back, uh, she started to realize the situation a little bit more, and you could tell how traumatic it, it must have been for her to stay out there that long. Her father managed to get out of the murky waters before first responders arrived. I wouldn't say it's intense. It's just more like paying attention to what's around you. Rescue crews attribute Saturday's quick response to the regular training on the river. It's moving kind of fast. There's a lot of obstructions and strainers underneath, so it's, it's good that we get out here and get familiar with the river because it's always changing. Randy White knows the Missouri River well. The biggest factors that we take into consideration is wind speed and then rain. He also gauges his kayak and canoe customer's experience because whether you're an amateur or a professional, it takes a great uh, a deal of, of respect and caution. All he does emphasize the use of life jackets when people are on the water because on this day it saved the lives of a father and daughter. Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.